Yo, what's up, Guardians? Today, we're going to be talking about pinnacle weapons in Season of the season of Opulence. Yesterday we, yesterday, we talked about Season of Opulence new weapons and the Menagerie event and all of the scheduled events for Destiny Season of Opulence throughout the summer. And today, we're going to be talking about the three pinnacle weapons coming with the new season. The first weapon is the Wendigo GL3. It's a grenade launcher, an arc adaptive grenade launcher with the unique perk Explosive Light. Picking up an orb of light increases the next grenade's blast radius and damage. And on Twitter, Bungie has confirmed that you can hold up to six charged grenades in your grenade launcher. So it's not that you have to pick up an orb of light after you fire the grenade launcher each time. Um, I think that this overall, my thoughts are that this weapon's going to be very... I think that this weapon has the most potential of the new weapons for the most play. Grenade launchers were already buffed in a past season and have been much better in PvE. In PvP, they currently run rampant as well as supers running rampant. So lots of orbs, lots of ways to power up this grenade launcher in the crucible. In PvE, obviously, you can power up a grenade launcher super easily. With masterworked weapons, you can run around, make all the orbs you need, pick up your own orb, charge your grenade, kill some things with the grenade launcher, which will make it more orbs because it'll be masterworked. And you'll just be able to continue to take out ads with this explosive powered grenade launcher. I think that this is the pinnacle weapon to go for this season, in my personal opinion. Um, some interesting things to add to this grenade launcher is it will be coming with blinding grenades, um, which will let you shut down teleporting taking captains or cabal gladiators. So you're going to get a little bit of um, finesse with this grenade launcher. You can do some unique things where you can blind people in the crucible, you can blind enemies to make them easier to kill. This grenade launcher looks to be very good for both PvE and PvP. Highly suggest picking this one up. Uh, which is interesting because previously Vanguard weapons were not weapons that players should have picked up at all, in my opinion. The scout rifle was mediocre. Loaded questions, okay. So I like that this grenade launcher is very powerful. I like that it it actually is seems like a pinnacle weapon compared to some of the previous weapons from the Vanguard. The next weapon we're going to discuss is from the Crucible. It is called Revoker. It's a kinetic, aggressive sniper rifle. Its unique perk is Reversal of Fortune. Missing a shot returns the bullet to the magazine after a short duration. Bungie's explanation for this gun reads as follows. Even the greatest of snipers is not a perfect sharpshooter, and you miss every shot you do not take. Revoker was built with that mindset, with the mindset that you should always go for it. But keep in mind that Reversal of Fortune can only return a single bullet at a time. I think that this suggests that if you miss a shot, um, you can't immediately fire another shot and miss it and then expect to get two bullets later on in the timer. Bungie has gone on to say, along with this unique perk, the sniper has a custom low zoom ambush scope and snapshot for those close quarter battles. Acquiring Revoker will not require reaching Fabled rank in competitive. Players will need to earn 3,500 total glory points. You do not lose progress when losing a match. And the sniper overall looks really cool. It's got the ambush scope. So a couple things, a couple really interesting things to mention with this sniper rifle. Um, a, people have really not liked the idea of reversal of fortune, the perk, the special perk that gives you your ammo back. Um, personally, I think that this is okay. A lot of the previous Crucible Pinnacle weapons usually got buffs on kills or could buff themselves while killing something. Um, so I think this one's a little bit more dialed back, not as powerful, but could still be pretty good overall. I think that in the Crucible, uh, missing shots happens, so to get your ammo back is probably really good. The Revoker sniper rifle is an aggressive frame sniper rifle, which means that it's one of the high impact, low fire rate sniper rifles. So it requires you to be a bit more accurate rather than spammy. 
But I think that this is good. I think that this could mean, possibly, that we're getting some buffs to sniper rifles in the Crucible at some point, where aggressive frame sniper rifles can one-shot headshot supers. I'm really hoping that's the case, and that's why this is an aggressive sniper rifle. Otherwise, I think that the perk is a little bit lackluster. I don't think this is a recluse or a not forgotten or a lunas hal anything like that i don't think it's that good but i think it's interesting and i will be going for it i do want to quickly mention the 3500 total glory points it means that this weapon is more accessible to everyone and basically you can just let's say you have zero points you win a game you get your 80 points then you lose and you lose your 60. if you just keep playing games and keep winning you'll eventually get 3,500 points where your overall glory score could end up still being zero. You could still get the gun with a glory score of zero as long as you earn a total of 3,500 glory points. I think that this is a good idea. I think that this makes the weapon a lot more accessible to players. I just wish that uh, some higher ranks like Fabled or Mythic, we could have some kind of like extra reward for this sniper rifle. Because currently, I personally feel that the max rank legend at 5500 is way too hard for most players to get. And I think that 2100 is a little challenging for players to get at some point. So I hope that maybe we'll dial back the rewards to be more accessible to more players. And now hitting Fabled will mean a cool skin or something like that. Still a reason to play in the comp playlist. Because right now, the only reason to... There's no reason to increase your glory rank. You can just keep farming around less than a thousand points to get easier matches. And the final pinnacle weapon is the Gambit pinnacle weapon. It's a solar precision combat bow named Hush. This perk, the unique perk for Hush is Archer's Gambit. Hip fire precision hits grant a massive draw speed bonus for a short duration. This weapon is for those who would proclaim mastery with the combat bow and pays out significantly better than Archer's Tempo, but it's going to take a more skilled hand to get the most out of it. Make those shots count, according to Bungie. Keep bumping the mic, I apologize. Anyway, getting back to Hush. This is a really cool um, bow. It could be really good in the Crucible. It all depends on how massive the draw speed bonus is. On something like a console, I know that it's pretty easy to hit headshots with a bow. Even if you're kind of hip firing, you have a good chance of hitting the headshots. Real, the bows are really sticky and they feel really good. So hopefully that this really massively increases draw speed bonus and is an actual re bow to go for and use in the Crucible. Personally, I don't know why it's a gambit weapon. Normally our gambit weapons have stuck to more of an ad clearing form, um, an ad clearing sense, and destroying a lot of ads. So I'm surprised that this is a, kind of a more precision weapon, and almost in a sense more rewards precision more than our sniper rifle does. But those are the pinnacle weapons. Um, I'm very excited for Hush, I'm very excited for Wendigo, and I'll be going for the sniper because I find it fun to play the comp playlist at the beginning of every season. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tomorrow we will be talking about Thursday's TWAB. We had some pretty interesting details come up from uh, this week at Bungie. And I hope you guys stick around. Don't forget to sub. Don't forget to like the uh, video if you enjoyed. Um, otherwise, hoping for some more buffs. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.